For anyone raised on Rapunzel and fairy tale princesses is no secret. Long hair has been the defining ideal of beauty and femininity for women. And while beauty standards have evolved to reflect many different types of femininity, long hair is still the defining factor. In a culture where shorter hairstyles have been associated with masculinity, short-haired women can break our long-held expectations apart. And sometimes, this can result in presumptions about short-haired femininity. In a society where we're taught that long means ladylike, having a short hair dude can be a pretty strong statement for a woman. And for ladies who go the short hair route, that statement is met with plenty of opinions. This is Maine, and today we're taking the plunge into the lives of women with short hair. Brooklynite Mila Miles is a self-identified queer woman who wears her hair short. As an artist, Mila uses mediums like film and poetry to express her own experiences as a short-haired woman in the queer community. How often are you getting your hair cut? I try to go every two weeks. When it comes to short hair and women, they only people only talk about like androgyny and masculinity, but in a heteronormative way about feminine or straight women. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, all the straight boys wear queer girl haircuts <laughs> within a few months, so I try to get ahead of the curve and do some other Okay. So, you know, it's between me and my barber. As long as I have a creative barber and he can, like, work with the vision that I have, we're in love. Like, I'm staying with him forever. That was the hard part uh, of starting the process of even getting comfortable and finding my style and barber and everything. So I let them do, especially being a masculine presenting person, they kind of know what I'm going for, you know, in that, like, looking pretty but still masculine. Mm -hmm. I think about what I saw on TV when I was a kid in the 90s and I would see women who, then favored a, li a little, uh, some of the features and ways that I look now, the aesthetics that I have now. Back then when I was a kid, I would just be like, I'm never, I'm never, oh, like I'm never gonna look like those men, women, you know? And then I, you know, I have moments I look in the mirror and I'm like, I have the exact haircut that I thought back then was just too much, you know? And it's, I didn't do it intentionally, you know? It's just kind of like, and now I'm looking back and I'm like, you know, I think a part of me was like, it was like internalized homophobia as a child. And I think that hair, when it comes to short hair, it's always, when it's talking about queer people, it's always reserved as like, oh, that's a queer thing so they can look queer and it's not expanded on or impacted in all these other types of ways, how it like affects our lives, you know. Tell me about your big chop moment. Oh man, it was uh, this side of my hair and the word fame cut into the side of my head, like designed. I thought I was doing it. I really wanted to try it and I wanted to, I think I, that was a part of the album like inspired me to not be afraid of looking beautiful in other people's eyes. You're in the barber chair, mm -hmm. he spun you around, the dramatic reveal. How did you view yourself? Honestly, I was like, oh my God, like girls are gonna totally look at me when they see this. <laughs> it's like, yes, now girls will know. Mm. Um, or at least question it. Cause I presented like tomboyish, you know, but. Um, also, it was just, I was really excited that I, you know, it was like when you go and get that tattoo, it's like there's no room left for regret, so you have to see the things that you love about it. And that's what changing my hair felt like, you know? There was no turning back, so I really, I was really excited to see like how I continued to feel about it. And I don't know if it's more of a want, it's more of like a need to like express that on the outside too. Mm -hmm. And also like comfort and everything. And it's, it's less for everybody else and more so, you know, when I look at myself in the mirror, how I feel about it. For young women who identify as straight, short hair comes with its own set of stereotypes too. After years of curiosity, artist Meredith Miyoki finally decided to go for the big chop after a lifetime of long hair. But while Meredith felt excited and empowered by her decision, she noticed that the response from those around her, even hairstylists, wasn't always encouraging. Your short hair represents like your truest self. Yeah, I felt more like myself than I ever did with long hair. But a lot of times it's just people ask me why, and sometimes it feels kind of confrontational. Mm. I'm like, I just, I cut off my hair, that's not a big deal. And they're like, well, why did you do it? Short hair is not pretty, stuff like that. It happens enough that it's like of note. I, I had been dating a guy at one point, and he's like, I don't normally go for girls with short hair because like, yeah. it's just too boyish or something. And I'm like, do I seem like a boy to you? Short hair looks better on me than your short hair looks on you. How long have you been rocking short hair? Three years about now, three, four years. It's longer than a lot of relationships. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you ever have long hair before having your Oh, shirt? yeah. 
first time like living away from home. It was a really rough transition for me. I just kind of was like, I need to make a change. Like I need to, I need to do something for myself. Like I'm gonna get on a plane. Yeah, I was like, I'm going home. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna see my mom mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna cut off all my hair. It was really weird because I've had haircuts where like they've spun me around, looked in the mirror and I'm like, what have I done? Why did I decide to get bangs? Like something yeah. like that. Um, but with this one, I was like, no. This, this looks completely right. This was absolutely the right decision. I love how this looks. Why didn't I do this like 10 years ago? And what's that feeling like when you have just gotten your hair cut and then you walk out the door? It feels nice and I feel really like fresh and clean. And I'm like, okay, this is me at like my best self right now. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm ready to like kind of tackle things. As Meredith and Mila's experiences show, hair length is an individual choice that women make for themselves. But there's one thing that women who have dared to go short have in common. They celebrate their femininity on their own terms at any hair length they choose. 